I'm planning to back this ankle shilbrug coverlet with a sheepskin. And before I do that, I'm planning to make a band to go around the edge of the skin. And see this nice linen band here? I've been designing a band to go with this coverlet of that same type. And the first step that I did, I'm going to share all these steps with you. I'm partway through the design process. So here's a yarn in a jar. I've dumped them out in a plate. And I have chosen my colors here. This is the dark cardinal. I'm going to mirror some of the colors that are in the coverlet. I'm just pulling these out so that I have colors to think about using as close as I could find them in the linen. Here's the coral. There's the burnt orange. Here's the chiffon. So these four colors, I've chosen those linens. And then this kind of gray stripe, I've chosen a, the sable. And here's the steel. This is a 16-2 linen, which is really nice for making these bands. And the unbleached. Unbleached was the color of this warp. And then up here, this band area, or that stripe area, I'm going to see what I can do with that. That's got a poppy color and maybe this trillium color in here. It's got black and it's got the oak, that kind of brown. And then here's a gold. And so I've chosen my colors. So we'll get those out of the way so they're not a distraction. We don't really need the jar here anymore. But what I've got here, this is kind of the the fast and dirty way to design a band like this. I've got pens, some Sharpies, and some are, um, they're a Bic product because finding all the right colors is hard. You get more colors if you, you use different kinds of, well, different manufacturers. And so there's a yellow and an orange. So these pens aren't going to be perfect, but it's as close as I could get. And there's a brown one. Here's my dark gray for the steel. Here's the light gray for the silver. And here's a, something for the unbleached. I'm lining them up with the yarns just so they're easy for me to find later when I'm going to use them to design. There's a red one and a black one. And I've already got a brown one here. That's going to have to suffice for both. Well, actually, I picked that out for the oak and the gold. So you see it's not perfect, but it's it's something to work with. And I've already done some designs here, so I'm going to share this thought process with you. Here I have the yellow stripes on the edge, and see how that mirrors these yellow stripes here. So I'm just doing a miniature version of the coverlet here. And then here's my, my gray section in the middle, a sort of speckly a very rough sketch and then I have some stripes if I were to turn this flip it over this way you can see how the coverlet then continues up here to this red section but then I was thinking well I'm not so excited about that idea I just wanted to try again and this time putting this red section in the middle so see how this red section is now kind of in the middle and I've mirrored it out to here and then see the stripes, the orange to the red are here. And then this gray stripe is on the edge. It's actually on each edge. So that's taking a very wide piece of coverlet, squishing it down into a little band. And then my next attempt after that, and I hear the edge, I couldn't even really see it, so I, I did an expansion. I went ahead and I tried to put some numbers to this in the same way that I did in my video of stripe proportioning, which maybe you've looked at. And so I decided this was going to be 200 threads wide, so half of it is 100, and I divided in half again. This is 50 threads, a little skinny band is 25. So I divvied up my numbers, and I realized that this to do this band, There'd be tiny, skinny, skinny little stripes, and maybe it's a little busy. It, it might be good. I, I would maybe like it, but then I, so I, I slept on that, 
in the morning, I came back up to the table here, and I took a look at the coverlet, and I, it really struck me that this grayish band stood out as being something that might look good around the edge. So I, I went for for that, I just took this, this grayish band, and I tried to draw that out a little bit. And then actually a funny thing happened here, because you see, this is the gray and unbleached, but here my unbleached pen really didn't look very unbleached. It looks more gold. I kind of liked the gold. So my next sheet here, sometimes I'll make a copy of my pen drawing so that I don't mess it up if I want to go back to it later. So I divvied up numbers and I actually incorporated some of the gold in here and some of the unbleached. And so that was that process. And then, oh, then I came up with 120 threads, so I didn't do my math very well. I wanted more. I want this to be closer to 160 or 200, somewhere in there. And so I started adding more numbers. I started making some of the numbers higher, scribbling over my other numbers. And I keep trying again to get a cleaner version of it. Here I finally got 200 threads. And then you sleep overnight again. And what happens? Well, I came up just even to do this video right now, and I looked at this section. You see from the yellow to the yellow, and I'm thinking, well, what if that were the best looking band? Because that, I think, is a nice, could be a nice edging as well. And so, start. I'm going to start in the middle, and I don't know how this is going to come out, but there's an orange stripe going down the middle, so I'm just going to put an orange stripe down the middle. And then I have the red on either side, but the it, it, this might be a good opportunity for those kind of crossbar things that you can get in a band. And so I'm going to put my unbleached background here on either side of the orange. It doesn't have to be neat to get a rough idea of what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to take my red and make these little crossbars. This is what can happen if you alternate threads. So I would be planning here to alternate on bleached and red. And you get this, these nice little jail stripes. And what do we have next? If I copy this, it looks like I've got some black skinny stripes. A very skinny stripe along the edge here and here. And if I have my black pen in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and make these other two black stripes. And then what have we got? The, the trillium. And I really don't have a good pen for the trillium, unfortunately. I was trying to do a little bit of brown. And then a little bit of red mixed in to pretend it's trillium. It doesn't really work, but there we go. And then what do we have next? Looking here, oh, there's some of this oak out on the outer edge. And that's really not the right color at all. This is a copper pen, but maybe I can add a little brown to that. And this is, I think it's about a similar width to the trillium. So something like that. And then we've got the gold on the edge. And I'm kind of remembering that this unbleached pen is really the one that looks more gold. So I might use that. But then it looks too much like the one in the middle, so I am going to put some of this over it. Maybe to make it more gold. And then we have that dark purple. And the problem with this dark purple is that the 16-2 linen doesn't really have that color. I did look for it. So if I want that dark purple, I might simply use a different yarn. Sometimes the color is more important. And I don't have my dark purple pen out here, but I'm going to pretend. By... Ooh, that's not working at all. But anyway, that's supposed to be dark purple. It's not going to look very good. And then on the edges, we have a 
sort of a wider swath of this yellow. And this is, of course, the wrong shade of yellow. But you get the idea. And I might do something to make it look a little bit more interesting, like a little bit of those alternating colors here. Just to give a little bit more interest. And it could certainly use more work, but that's the idea of how I approach designing a band for one of these coverlets. So I hope that you're inspired to do better than I've done here, and I'm sure you will. So happy band weaving and coverlet making.